All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are now going to get into talking about uh, the current standings uh, throughout the NFL. So we'll start off. Uh, we'll start off in the AFC. So right now, the the Dolphins are nine and four. Bills are seven and six. Bills are two games back. Um, I don't know if I said earlier in the show if they were one game back, but yeah, they're two games back right now. And yeah, I mean the Dolphins got a tough schedule coming up. Jets, good defense. I mean, they just wanted, you know, big against the Texans with Zach Wilson. So maybe, you know, the Jets are going to give them some problems, especially if Tyreek Hill is, you know, compromised with the ankle injury. Um, Then you got Dallas coming in at the Ravens and then home against the Bills. Those are all tough games. So Dolphins got to figure it out. You got the Bills at 7-6 and behind them two games back. They got less of a tough schedule, but they got to deal with the Cowboys this week at the Chargers, which got easier because it doesn't look like... I don't think Justin Herbert is coming back this year. Uh, Broken index finger. Um, But we'll see. Uh, Then they're home against the Patriots, who they already lost to. I mean, if they didn't lose to the Patriots, they'd be in a much better spot this year. But they'd be in the playoffs right now. Um, And then they're at the Dolphins, which is a winnable game. It's going to be a tough game, but it's definitely winnable, especially with... You know, the way, you know, the Dolphins have, uh, the way the Dolphins played last night. Um, Jets are 5-8. and eight. Not done yet. Not done yet. Possible that Aaron Rodgers could return on Christmas Eve. Now, it's not going to happen. It's not, I don't think it's going to happen. I'll believe it when I see it. It's not going to happen. But, hey, you know, the Jets get a win here. And suddenly you're like, eh, maybe, uh, maybe we got a shot here. Because this is the toughest game left on their schedules at Dolphins. You win that game, Aaron Rodgers is healthy. You know, you got the Commanders at the Browns, which is tough, but you could win that game. And then you're at the Patriots. And then suddenly, you're 9-8. and eight. Maybe maybe you squeak in. Maybe you get that 7th seed. Nah, it's not happening. Uh, like I said, I, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, then you go to the AFC North. Uh, the Ravens, I, I think it's pretty much their division. They're ten and well, not only that, they got the one seed, so they're ten and three. Browns eight and five. Steelers are seven and six. Bengals are seven and six. Yeah, Bengals are trending up. Not like you know they're going to go to the Super Bowl or anything, but they can make the playoffs still. Steelers are definitely trending down because, I mean, I really don't think they're going to win a single game with Mitchell Trubisky at quarterback. Um, I you know what I shouldn't say that because they got Mike Tomlin. And he hasn't finished with a losing season. This could be that season because, you know, you got, you're got you at the Colts, home against the Bengals, at Seattle, at Baltimore. I mean, those are all tough games. Um, and when your offense is, you know, not very good, um, the defense can only do so much. T.J. Watt and that defense can only do so much. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think they, they got to win at least one more game. Um. But then they'd finish 8-9, and, and he'd have a losing record. But um, not looking good right now for the Steelers. Um, then in the AFC South, Jags are 8-5. and five, Colts are 7-6. and six, Texans are 7-6. and six, Titans are 5-8. and eight, uh, But they picked up a win. They were actually the only team in, uh, in the AFC South to get a win this week. Um, and, yeah, those are big losses for the Texans and the Colts because, you know, they win those games. They'd be uh, – well, the Texans would, I think, would have passed the, uh, the Jags. Um, but, yeah, they both lost. Then you got the Chiefs who are 8-5, and five, Broncos 7-6, and six, Chargers 5-8, and eight, Raiders 5-8. and eight. Broncos are one game back. So keep an eye on that. But, I mean, I, I think the Chiefs, they still win the division. Uh, then in the NFC East, so right now the Cowboys technically have the lead over the Eagles, but they're both tied at 10-3. and three. Giants are 5-8, and eight, Commanders 4-9. and nine. Um, NFC North, you got the Lions at 9-4, and four, Vikings 7-6, and six, uh, Packers 6-7, and seven, Bears 5-8. and eight. You know, Bears have won two straight now. Um, they definitely looked like a better team. Um, they're at the Browns, home against the Cardinals, home against the Falcons. At the Packers, I mean, I definitely could see them winning, you know, one or two more games uh, to close out the year. Um, they're in line for that number one overall pick, so let's see, you know, how Justin Fields plays these last three weeks. You know, do the Bears, uh, you know, stick with him and, you know, 
uh, trade out of the first uh, the first overall pick, get a lot of assets. Like we'll, we'll see. Then you got in the NFC South, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lead the way at six and seven. Um, I mean, they're all tied, but technically the Bucks have um, all the tiebreakers. So they're six and seven. Falcons are six and seven. Saints are six and seven. Panthers one and twelve. I mean, who wants to win this division? Uh, right now, the Bucks have the best conference record. They're five and four. Falcons are four and five. Saints are three and five. Uh, Bucks are three and one in, in the division. Falcons are three and one in the division. Um, so I mean, yeah, I mean that that game on Sunday was humongous for both teams, uh, and the Bucks were able to pull out the win. And uh, I didn't pick them. I I switched to the Falcons. Um, but I'm happy the Bucks won. I want them to win the division, but we still got a long way to go, even though we got three games left. And then, of course, in the NFC West, I mean, the Niners got that wrapped up. They actually were the first team to clinch a playoff spot. With the Packers losing last night, they clinched. Um, I mean, yeah, and they, the division is pretty much theirs um, with a win next week. So, um, yeah, uh, they look really good right now. Uh, those uh, three games, that three-game losing streak seems like years ago. Uh, so then you get to, you know, the, the wild cards and the right now the, the current seeding. So right now you got the Ravens as the one seed, Dolphins at the two, Chiefs at the three, Jags at the four. I kind of see the Chiefs and the Dolphins flip-flopping, and I think the Chiefs will have the two seed. Ravens right now, um, they're in prime position for the one seed but they got the jags in jacksonville so that's gonna be a tough game they did lose there last year but i think they th this time it'll be different uh so with me saying that go pick the jags um at san francisco on christmas that is gonna be a great game well, i hope it's a great game um and that's a, that could be a super bowl preview right there um so they could lose that game you know, then they're home against the Dolphins, which, you know, the Dolphins went in there last year and beat them too. But the, the Ravens were banged up in the secondary, uh, so that was part of the issue. So th this could be a little bit different. And then they're home against Pittsburgh, which is a divisional game as well. Um, so that could go, you know, the Steelers could play them tough, maybe pull off the upset. But they already did pull off the upset this year, so I think the Ravens uh, get redemption there. So, yeah, I mean, the Ravens, I, I think they, uh, they get the one seed. Um... And then you got the Dolphins and the Jags, uh, probably getting the three and the four. I've been saying Dolphins a lot in this episode. Um, then in the wild card, uh, this is where it just gets insane. So you got the Browns at eight and five. Then you got the Steelers at seven and six, the Colts at seven and six. Then you have the Texans at seven and six, the Broncos at seven and six, the Bengals at seven and six, and the Bills at seven and six. So that's, that's six teams that are i mean right now they got the colts and the Steelers over them because of tiebreakers but actually i see i don't understand how that works because the texans beat the steelers they did lose to the colts so i just i don't get how the steelers are still in it uh i guess it's because of okay it's because of conference record i think that's why because they're five and four in the conference Colts are five and four. Then the Texans are four and four. Broncos are four and five. Bengals are three and six, and the um, uh, Bills are four and five. So I think that's yeah. So it's because it's because of conference record. Um, that makes sense. But still, I mean, I don't know. But whatever. I, I guess that that that's what it has to be then. Because the Texans beat the Steelers this year. They won thirty to six, right? I think that was the final score of that game. Um. But yeah, that's uh. That's the AFC playoff picture. And then you got teams that are 5-8. and eight. I mean, listen, I, I know I talked about the Jets. Hey, um, you know, Aaron Rodgers could be coming back. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, right now I think it's just you look at all these 7-6 and six teams. Now, what 7-6 and six teams will make the playoffs? I think the Bills are going to get in somehow. They're playing better football as of late. I think they somehow find a way to get in. I kind of hope they do because I'd like to see them as a 7 seed. As opposed to now, again, no offense to these other teams. I, I kind of don't want to see the Colts in it, but I, again, no disrespect to them. But I just want to see better matchups, and having the Bills in as a seven seed or a six seed would be insane. 
Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. That last spot's going to be tough. But I think the Steelers are going to fall out of it. So it's either going to be the Texans, the Broncos. I mean, I think it's going to be either the Texans or the Broncos. I don't know. I, I mean, listen, the Bengals could definitely definitely have a shot because they got all their weapons back, and Jake Browning has been playing good football these two games that he started. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, I'm hoping the Bills somehow find a way to get in. Uh, then you move over to the NFC. Niners got the one, Cowboys two, Lions three, Bucks four. Got the Eagles right now in the five, Vikings in the six, Packers in the seven. Uh, that game, losing that game was tough because now you got, now they're tied with the Rams, the Seahawks, the Falcons, and the Saints. All those teams are are, you know, basically tied with them. Um, but the Packers have a, uh, you know, a lot of winnable games on their schedule to close out the year. Um, I think I said three games. I meant to say four. Uh, but yeah, they got the Bucks, the Panthers, the Vikings, and the Bears to close out the season. All winnable games. Um, but I was definitely uh, uh, discouraged with their performance yesterday against the Giants, against a good defense. Uh, well, defense has been playing better. Um, you know, they definitely uh, banged up a little bit too. No Aaron Jones, no Christian Watson. Which, again, was a concern, but I was like, eh, I just, I'm not really buying into the Tommy DeVito hype, but, yeah, I mean, that proved me wrong. Pack, uh, Jordan Love looked like how he looked, you know, through that stretch earlier in the season. So, um, you know, then you got the Rams. Vikings winning 3 nothing over the Raiders to get themselves to 7-6. and six. I mean, that was just... I, I really did not watch that game um where i was but yeah i mean that just that was embarrassing and josh dobbs got benched they put in nick mullins so um yeah you got so yeah you got all these teams at six and seven vikings at seven and six i think the packers still get in it's really that last spot i'm gonna be honest i'm hoping it's the rams um because i don't want to see desmond ritter in the play i mean the saints like with Derek carr you know, Alvin Kamara, get Michael Thomas back. I mean, that's fine, you know, if they got in. But, yeah, I, I'm not trying to see, you know, the Falcons in the playoffs. But they definitely could make it in as the uh, – I mean, they could make it in by winning the division and the Bucks get in as a wild card. Uh, but we'll see. A lot of 6-7 and seven teams, a lot of 7-6 and six teams. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be a wild finish in these final, uh, final four games. Um, so – that's pretty much it for the show for today. Um, you know, I'm going to be working on getting uh, the show from yesterday reposted into the four segments, of course. Uh, so if you missed anything, you could check them out. Uh, but, of course, the live stream is still there from yesterday. Um, also, um, the audio portions of the shows are getting uploaded to, you know, your whatever you use for your podcasts, uh, Apple Music, Spotify. So, um I know, like, we were, you know, doing some moving around with where the shows are. Um, so, they will be, uh, they're, the, the football ones are all updated. Like, they're on Spotify right now. So, make sure to go check them out in case you just want to, you know, listen instead of watching, you know, me. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, again, the show from here on out is going to be from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Friday, the doubleheader, uh, you got the baseball show, which is actually going to be at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. to um, to 10 a.m. And then, of course, then you got the you know football podcast will be a half hour later. So now the football podcast is after the baseball podcast. So look at that. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, we got some stuff to talk about there with uh, Otani signing with the Dodgers and you know, the specifics of the contract, because that has a, a lot of baseball fans, including myself, um, in an uproar. So, uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it for the show for today. I thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, uh, make sure to tune in again tomorrow. Look out for the shorts that are also coming out throughout the day. Um, but until then, uh, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC football podcast brought to you by the GSMC sports network. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.